Hey guys, this is Adrian Boisel. I wanted to do a quick tutorial video to show you guys how to make a cover photo for a Facebook group. Yes, a cover photo for a Facebook group. Now, there are a lot of different resources on YouTube and on Google where you can find Facebook cover photo templates and things like that. But I wanted to show you how to make one today in Photoshop. So if you look here, pulled up this great resource off vizme.co and it tells you right here, this is for 2021, that a Facebook cover photo size is 1640 by 856. So what we're gonna do is hit Command or Control N, 1640 by 856. That's a pretty good size for us to work with. I'm actually gonna make this in 300 resolution so that if I ever need to use those graphics for anything else, they'll be nice and high res and then I can always size this down. So we're gonna start with this. One thing that's very, very important for you to know when it comes to creating a Facebook cover photo for a page, for a group, and that's what this is for, is understanding how that's gonna show up as your profile photo as well. That's the kind of the neat thing about uh, the Facebook group photos, cover photos, is those get set as your profile photo. So what you really wanna do is kind of center this thing around having it be focused on the middle section because that's what it's gonna focus on for your profile photo. Let me pull up a quick example of what that would actually look like. So I have a few different ones here um, that I've done, but I'm gonna just show you one here. So we're gonna make one together. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drag out a circle just so you can kind of get an idea of a guide on that's set to pixels. So let's go ahead and switch that. So I'm gonna hold shift down and just click and drag. And it has a stroke on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that stroke off. I'm gonna fill this just so we have a good place. Now, one thing that's important for you to know is you need to have your guides on. Your guides are gonna give you some extra um, visibility and knowing when your stuff is centered. So what I have is called smart guides. So let me just show you here, show, and then you go smart guides. Make sure that's turned on. So if you'll notice here, as I'm dragging this thing around, you'll see, see that little pink line that showed up there? Boom, there it is again. So that right there is center. Now I just need to go down. It looks like top and bottom right there and then left to right. That looks like it's centered right there. So there we go. So that is gonna be your center point. That looks pretty centered. It actually looks a little bit off. There we go. Now I'm holding down shift, which is gonna help me as well. So there we go, that's the center point. So now I have this thing centered. This is generally the area that you're gonna wanna focus on uh, showing up as whatever profile photo for your Facebook group. So let me show you this Facebook group here. All right, so I have a Facebook group called XRP Hero. I do this because I love cryptocurrency, I'm a big fan, uh, and I created this cover photo for this Facebook group. Now you'll notice here on the icon, it shows up pretty nicely. XRP Hero, XRP Hero fits pretty nicely. I can click on this, right click and copy, go over back over to Photoshop and paste this in here. Obviously I did this at higher resolution, but you know this will give you a really good idea. See, boom, I already nailed it on that one of exactly where your guides should be set up. You can set up guides for yourself. So it was right around here, right around here. Just drag these down from the guides. i put this probably right around here. It's a little higher than that, obviously, but I just wanna make, make sure that I'm not going over the line. So I'm just gonna kind of focus it on here. I'll pull this image out now. You can see I can go up a little higher on this. So I can just go in here. That's more of a square it's kind of the square icon that you're gonna have for the group. You want people to be able to recognize your group. So I can go ahead and just make this a little bit bigger. Just increase this. There we go. I got that in there. So that's kind of like my template. So I wanna focus everything in on this inner circle and then everything else is kind of gonna be bled outside of there. So let's just uh, create something for something random here. So I wanna create a group, let's just say for uh, the domain community or yeah, I think the domain community people who buy and sell domain names or build and sell websites So what I can do here is I just click my text tool and I'll go ahead and just drag in this area and I'm gonna call this uh, Domain ah, I have an idea we're gonna make a crypto domain investing crypto domain Investors Keep it really simple, okay? This isn't an actual group. It may it may already exist, but I don't know that. I'm just creating something random. Just wanna show you how quickly we can make something really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and size this text a little bit bigger. It's gonna be a pretty short tutorial. There we go. And then we're gonna go crypt. Oops, I spelled that wrong. You see that there? I almost had a typo. And then go up in here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make this bigger as well. Make it all equally the same size. Now I do have my spacing, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold domain now, hit shift, and then I'm gonna hit alter option and, and move this up because I want this to look really cool. 
So there we go. And then I'll do the same thing here. Hold shift and then alter option. Bring that up. It's about right, right there, I think. And then I'll drag this back towards the center. So crypto domains are like dot crypto. So what you can do is you can actually plug in your, your wallet address uh, that you have for your cryptocurrency that you hold. And you can plug in your wallet address to your crypto domain. You only pay once for a crypto domain. But today's purpose of this video is not to teach you about crypto. It's just to kind of talk about uh, creating this Facebook cover. So let me go ahead and hit command I, which is going to invert it. I'm going to change my text from black to probably something bright like this. Boom, crypto domain investors. Now I need to find a cooler font, right? Because that's kind of lame. Let's find something cool. I'm going to go to my character, make sure my caps isn't turned on. I may have typed this all out in caps, but let's just see. Investors. I'm going to go ahead and do it like that. There we go. And then I'm going to take, whoops, and I'm going to find a nice font and select that. I'm going to highlight this again. I already got it italicized, regular italics. There we go. So it's already in there. Uh, and then I can just maybe bring this down, alter option, bring this down. And then now I need to find something cool, whoops, to actually give it that crypto domain investors look. So there's another way we can do this to save time. I'm going to go to stock.adobe and we're going to type in investors. Let me see here. I'm going to type in crypto investor see if it pops up anything i'm not logged in at the moment see there's some pretty cool images i like the bear and the bull uh let's see here that's a big time investment kind of symbol here what if we did something like this look at this image so let me go ahead and log in real fast all right so now that i'm logged in i'm going to go ahead and license this one i think this one could be really cool and we're going to drop this baby right in there so watch this so file place embed there we go Sometimes it just is a little glitchy. So we're going to go ahead and do this. I'll put this probably right around here. Just size this. And then what I'll do is I'm going to put this on a different layer. So go over to your layers. You're going to bring this down below that, right? So that looks pretty good right there. But what I need to do is I need to get that other stuff out of there. So I'm going to pull this out of here for a second. I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to make sure that this is actually turned to a raster. I'm going to right click on this and rasterize this. Content aware fill. Let's go ahead and see if we can move this. There we go. Hit OK. That looks pretty decent. It's still kind of there, but I can go here again. If I really need to and hit fill. Do that again. Oh, I have it on a new layer, so let me make those two. So I hold these both, Command E and merge them. Right click again, fill. Content aware fill. There we go. That looks much, much better. So now I have that open space. I can put the crypto domain investors inside of there. And if I really want to, I can take this here. Oh, and I can bring this down so I can hit cut. There we go. And then what I'll do is I'll go back to this layer. I'm going to hit M and I'm going to bring this out and I'm going to hold command or control T and I'm going to bring this down. Whoops. Hold down shift. You're going to bring this down all the way to fill in that space. Boom. Hit command or control D. Enter first and then command or control D. It'll unselect everything. And then I can bring this guy down here. Crypto domain investors. So I'm wondering if I should just make this even simpler. I want this to be really readable. So that's like one of my biggest concerns is that it's readable. So let me just go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. Or I can just bring this up. A little bit higher i think that might be the best the best way to go so let me just bring that up a little bit more my rectangle my marquee tool see m is for the marquee tool so i can go up in here and hit command t again hold down shift bring this all the way down fill in that space completely hit enter command or control d now i have that space completely open i am going to make this just a little bit smaller so i can fit everything nicely let's see here so this is 39 we'll just go to 34 on that one and then we'll go down a little bit more on this one, 37. There we go. Now I can bring that up without it being too distracting. So there we go. So now we got a nice, pretty nice photo. What I want to do is I want to blend this a little bit and see if I can, whoops, let me merge these two first, Command E. And then I want to blend this and see if I can get a nice little blend between that and the back, the black background. I think it's pretty, it's pretty nice either way. It's a good color scheme. Um, what I'd like to do 
I don't think the orange really works, so I'm just gonna make this white to match the rest of the design. And you can see here if I hit Command or Control and then next to the L is a little semicolon, it'll pull that, that template back. I can turn those off and on. So I wanted to show you guys that, that's important as well. But this would work as a really good uh, Facebook group cover photo. And I just wanted to show you a basic way to do that and how you should focus your energies and your intentions on the outside. Now just super, super fast. If I wanted to incorporate anything else, like something like this, I'm just gonna do this. I'm not licensing this and I'm not actually gonna upload this. I'm just showing you for an example purposes. But if I wanted to, whoops, if I wanted to scale this, let me hit, let go of shift, there we go. And then I can take this little rocket, remove the background. I could take the Bitcoin and the coin out in general. And I can remove that. I can use my eraser tool or I can use my, oops, there we go. I can do this manually like this. It takes a little bit of time to do it that way or I can use my magic wand tool and just rem remove the whole coin in general. And then I can come back in here if I really wanted to. And I would have a much higher quality version of this image, right? If I had licensed it, so it'd make it a lot easier than I'm just doing here. I'm just showing you this for an example. Uh, but you could even do some stuff like this within there. I'm just gonna delete these out real quick. Make my thing a little smaller here. There we go. It's not perfect and it doesn't need to be because I'm not using this actually on the page, but I'm just teaching you guys this little quick Facebook group cover photo design. And if you love this, if this is the kind of stuff that you wanna see more of, drop a comment. Let me know that you like this stuff so I can make more of it, but you could do cool little stuff that kind of bleeds off the side. Um, and just really make things that are neat. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I just wanted to keep it very simple and show you how you can upload it and the size and dimensions that you need for a Facebook group cover photo. If you're not using Facebook group cover photos, I would highly encourage you to do so. So thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. And as always, keep looking up.